Let's talk some sports, baby. And like always, if you like what you hear, please subscribe, like, and comment on the channel. I greatly much appreciate that. Um, I do this as a hobby. I love to do it. It ain't about the money for me. It's about the interaction. So, you know, hit me with some comments. Tell me what you think. Start some conversation. Hey, it ain't like you got nothing else to do. We all sitting in the house quarantined because of the coronavirus. So, hit your ball. Let me know what you want to talk about and let's do it. But, hey, today I came in here. I tried to avoid from doing it, but I had to do it right quick, man. I had to talk about how the coronavirus and it took the Khabib and Ferguson fight from us once again. It's, it's been reported that Khabib is in Russia and he can't leave anywhere because the the restrictions on the border there in Russia. So right now, as I hear it, Dana White is out finding possible opponents. The number one guy I've seen at the top of the list is uh, Justin Gaethje. He seemed to be the guy that's close to getting penciled in. Boy, do I wish he can go get McGregor. <clears throat> McGregor and Ferguson, you hear me? McGregor and Ferguson, I'm trying to tell you. Now that's what I want to see. But I, Gaethje is not a bad. He, he's top. He's top ten in the lightweight division. Um, I just I also feel bad for Ferguson uh, because Ferguson has done nothing but give, you know, hand out the business, giving out business cards. He done whooped everybody ass. He done stepped in there with, and um, every time he he, he gets a shot at. Khabib, something goes wrong. Either he gets hurt or Khabib gets hurt, and now it's the coronavirus. Neither one of them hurt. It's just this fight, is, uh, in the words of Joe Rogan, th this fight seems to be cursed. Um, and it's just unfortunate because I really want to see this fight. But if Justin Gaethje steps in, I wouldn't be mad at him. Also, Dana, Uncle Dana as they call him. Listen, so I see you trying to find ways to fill out this card if this card was to happen. I propose... You know, Nate Drink propose. What I propose is those three bouts, those three cards you had to cancel for the month of April, you know what I'm saying, and, and the rest of March, take the main events, go and slap them on the card, and make this the really the biggest event that ever happened in UFC history, not with McGregor on the card, you know. And uh, get put all those on there. Take the three events, put them on there, find another good fight, make one main card, and I just suggest you show five fights. Don't worry about an undercard. Don't worry about none of that. You just show those five fights. We're going to be here for it. Pay-per-view, whatever, do it, however you do it. No fans. It don't matter. Um, The card that you showed in Brazil with no fans seemed all right with me. Would I would have rather seen fans on there? Yes, but it seemed okay to me. Kevin Lee still got his ass whooped regardless if it was fans there or not, you know. Um, so I would ask that uh, that you take that in consideration. I know you out here working hard getting it done, but look, man, we need to see. We need something. This Right now, if you have any event that can be watched or any event that can be done, this is your time to shine, your time to capitalize. I'm not trying to treat the coronavirus like it's not serious. I'm not saying don't practice social distancing. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying from a sports perspective, right, this is your time to get you get, get your grind on. And, you, you know, you the only, you the only big thing in town. You might as well capitalize on it if you can. And um, I'm, I'm there for that. Also, John Jones. Come on, baby. What you doing? DWI? Negligence of a firearm? Come on. Listen, it's been a lot of conversation going on. I've been, I slapped it on my Facebook. I slapped it on my Instagram. And a lot of people that have had something to say back. You know, John Jones has been his own worst enemy. And he's been his own worst enemy for the past, I don't know how many years. The, the guy is the GOAT. And it wouldn't even be a argument with him being the goal even because you know some people got an argument but had he not been cutting up and taking years off his own lifespan as far as a mma fighter this dude would be the goat by a mile it wouldn't even be close but when you do all this nonsense and you cost yourself all this money and you keep saying well i'm sorry i'm not gonna do it again and then you do it again eventually us the fans the, the 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 reporters the media personnel we don't we stop caring we stop 
Look at your numbers. Your numbers dwindling. You find better competition than a lot of these guys, and your numbers are dwindling. You're not as dominant as you once was. I mean, you're still winning, but you're not as dominant. You, you're in and out of legal problems. Then you got steroid problem. People calling you a young snitch. They said you cut a deal with your solder. That might or might not be true. Who knows? But, you know, I'm not here trying to bash John Jones because I'm a John Jones fan. That's my, that's my problem with all this. I'm a John Jones fan. And that's why it hurts me when he, I see him out here with the shenanigans, the boop, bop, bump, bam. You know, like, come on, man. You got to get it together, man. Like, you're too good. You're too talented. You, you got all these people that want to be behind you. But every time we get behind you, you just spit in everybody's face with the nonsense, bro. Come on, Bones. Bones, baby. Come on. So, you know, I feel like he's not a bust or anything, but he de- he definitely has not maximized his talent. He, he needs to maximize his talent. I, I would foresee that he still will be on the roster whenever the legal problems are over. I don't know about a main event anymore, probably a co-main event, which is crazy because he should be the face of the UFC if he don't get in trouble. And I got with people. Some people have said, well, what's the difference between him and McGregor? McGregor go out there and get in trouble. But you got to understand, McGregor went through a window of when he was getting in trouble and then he stopped. Well, he seemed to stop. And also, McGregor don't have a long history of the trouble. If you take away throwing the dolly and punching the old man, then you know the camera slapping thing. That was whatever. Dude was trying to take it. You know he slapped his camera. He settled. That was whatever. The two major things we're talking about here is the fact that you know he threw the dolly. He hurt fighters. That that was you know attempt to hurt somebody with a deadly weapon or however they looked at it, and that was a serious deal. And punching the old man in the Ireland pub. That was a big deal. But the, the other things were small, like, just fighter stuff, I guess you could say. Like, little stuff. Um, but he seems to have his head on. Now, if McGregor go out there and get in trouble again, then I think he would start following the blueprint of John Jones at this point, where it's just like, every time we build you up, you just let us down. So, you know what I mean? The jury's still out on McGregor. But right now, he still gets the benefit of the doubt just because he don't have the track record, record that John Jones got. So, yeah, I look at that. Come on, Bones Jones. What are we doing, baby? We got to get it together. Also, also, the world of boxing, we seen that Triple G, Canelo, um, they did agree to a third bout. Like my boy, Aki. Shout out to Aki TV. Y'all follow his channel. Um that's A-K-H-I-T-V. Slap that into the search. You'll find him. Uh, part of the Dante Boxing Nation family as well. New media, all that. Shouts out to you, brother. Um, but he he like he said, it was a fight that we didn't us the fans didn't ask for, but we accept it because it's Canelo, and Canelo has been on a run of fighting just straight Rudy Poots. So we like thanks Canelo for finally giving us something. Is you know it's not it's not Charlo, it's not Andre, you know it's not even, it's not even Murata, but you gave us something. So we'll take what we can get at this point. We don't know when that fight will happen because of the coronavirus, but it's, it's supposed to be the next fight for both of those gentlemen, Triple G and Canelo. So we'll see how that go. Stand, stand in the lane of boxing. I want to hit on Ryan Garcia. I did see um, recently. Oscar, him and Oscar De La Hoya can't release some, some information where they're calling out Javante Tank Davis. They want to the smoke. And I'm going to tell you like this. Let's go ahead and hit them bricks. They, they hit them bricks, I should say. Let's hit them bricks. It's just like you skipping school and going home and didn't even know your mama was still at the house. Let's hit them bricks right quick. I don't know my no Javante Davis. Now, I did hear that it's some in the works, maybe between Ryan Garcia and David Haney. Now that fight I signed up for, two guys, similar body builds. Uh, I think they're both in similar situations in their career. They're both up and comers. Sl- you know, slim punches, smooth styles. I got all that. Love it. If you two want to get in the ring, let's, let's get it on. It's going to sell tickets, you know. I think both promoters do a good job of selling both fighters. So it's going to sell. 
we're going to watch. That's cool. But when you come out here talking about I want Tank Davis, look, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney. First of all, y'all need to hit, hit the weights, put on more weight, first and foremost. Like, I don't think either one of y'all really ready for them body shots from Javante. No, I don't think y'all ready to fight him on the inside. I just don't think so. Could be totally wrong. I don't see it. And when I say Javante Tank Davis, let, let, let's not get me missing screwed. I'm talking about a focus, ready to go, not missing weight, Javante Tank Davis, like a tank. Not, you know, you, you sometimes you get the, I'm going to miss weight because I'm not, I'm not all the way there. I got stuff going on. Or you got the, I didn't take the opportunity serious because I'm a young guy. If you give me the, the fully devoted Tank Davis, man, you could cancel Christmas for these dudes, man. Cancel Christmas for Ryan Garcia and them. I mean, they're good fighters. They just, I just don't think they on the level of a Tank Davis. So as that story develops with the young guns, let's see how that go. Um, I do think Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis will happen at some point. Don't get me wrong because, like I said, he's not a scrub. I just think let's let's let you know Ryan Garcia get a little more you know as they say get a little more salt up under him you know up on him get a little more veteran savviness and bi- get bigger hit the weight room more and then we'll revisit that conversation but until then I think we gotta leave that alone. Um, also hearing some news about the draft, <laughs> some about the draft only. Since we don't have much to uh, talk about nowadays, uh, the draft want to they want to draw out the first round, only doing so many picks one day, then so many picks day two, and then so many picks day three. I'm hoping that they do the whole first round in day one like usual, and then if they want to draw rounds two through seven, then <laughs> be my guess. But I ask that you just keep it the whole first round one day. I do understand it's gonna go by. Maybe you know faster because you don't have to. You you won't have the players walking on the on the stage anymore, except in their jerseys. However, you know we got to figure that out. NFL. I don't I don't know how I feel about ten picks one day, ten picks day two, ten picks day three. I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I don't know. Not really feeling it. It is what it is. Blah blah blah. blah. All right. Um. Also. <laughs> I see a lot of executives getting that young salary cut. Yes, sir. Um, listen, I, I think it's a great thing, and because instead of always trying to take the money from the players, why not ask the executives to take a pay cut first? First of all, they make a whole lot of money to do a little typing, a little FaceTime, and a little signing. That's what they do. Is an executive. You can't tell me they do no more than that. Outside of Adam Silver, the commissioner, and maybe the assistant commissioner. The rest of them guys get to sit back in the shade drinking lemonade. That's what they do, all right? You guys going to convince me of anything else. Um, they're not the, the players out on the court. They're not the coaches. I, I don't think the players or the coaches should be taking pay cuts. Just because the product isn't on, it's not their fault. Now, it's one thing if it's the player fault or the coach fault while they're not participating in an event. It's not their fault. None of them created coronavirus. It is what it is. Get over it. If you're losing money, take the money from the people that can afford to lose it because they was probably overpaid from the start. The executives, the top. I'm not talking about the commissioner or the, the assistant commissioner. They probably earn their money, but I'm talking about these other guys that we don't we don't even know exist. Those guys. Get, get them out of here. Go ahead and take their salary. So I like to move. I, I'm hearing that um the president did want to try to open the country back up on April 15th. But he just issued another 30 days, so that'll take us all the way through April 30th, I think. So we'll see how that go. Um, I will assume that now the NBA going to go back to the drawing board as far as waiting 30 days and revisiting with Adam Silver. Um, not quite sure how that's going to work out, but, you know, let's see how that go. So <clears throat> that, that's what i seen in the NBA news. That was pretty cool. Also, I want to say, for all, all of you that use YouTube sparingly, and that you're bored and you do the, you do want to watch some sports, I, I have noticed that the NBA channel, the NFL channel, a um, couple of other channels are showing UFC. They're showing like older events you might have seen before, but it's some sort of entertainment and it's free for those of you that don't pay for like YouTube Premium or whatever. So you can clock, you can click on at eight. They showing new games every night. 
the NFL showing like new games all day long. Like they showing old classics all day long. I just get notifications, boom, 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 with the NFL. The NBA usually um, preserve their new content for eight o'clock every night. They'll show a new game with a new significance to that game. So that's something else to look at if you don't have something to, to watch. I know a bunch of people binge watching stuff. Speaking of binge watching, I know y'all seen that new Ozark. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my girl Ruth out here, you know, taking them for the team. Old Marty, him and, him and his wife, man. They some slime balls, man. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And shout out to that ending. Shout out to the ending, man. Hey, that dro- hey, hey, cartel leader, he like, listen, I'm tired of the smoke. I want to talk to one person and one person only. So let me go and take care of that. Rock ball. That's it. So I don't want to get away if you ain't seen it, but... Just know that ending was I, I I messed with that ending real tough. Um, that uh d- hit up a little battle rap news. You know, I know most of y'all have heard the ULL they dropping something called Quarantine. The first match is dropping tomorrow at some time, which is Mike P versus Tay Rock. Yes, these matches are streamed from two different locations. And they're going against each other. Yes. It's going to be something new. It's going to be something unique. I say don't hate on it until you try it. You know what I'm saying? Like watch it or, you know, get with somebody and watch it. Then if you watch it and don't like it, then you never have to mess with it again. But I say I see a lot of people banging on the idea of that. And we haven't even seen what it looked like yet. Like let's give it a shot first. You would think the URL, they're trying to do something to entertain the Battle Rap fans. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's try not to, you know, piss on the parade, per se, uh, before we get a chance to actually watch it. Also, i seen that um, John John and Don and DNA, they're doing an IG battle, charging $10 per view. I might go ahead and drop my $10 just in support to see what, that, what that's about, see how that goes. And I hope they, you know, coming at each other. You got to understand, though, these these are going to be very difficult things to, let's say, I judge or say this person won. This is just to entertain us, man. They're just trying to get us through this coronavirus epidemic. This is what I think people need to understand. This is not going to be the normal, you know, battle rap where you you, we're watching it and we're like, oh, boy, smoked the body of the night, clean body. Yeah, I got it. No. I think this is just strictly for entertainment. It's going to be very hard to say who won what. They're battling each other through uh, computer screens. Like me talking to you. That's what they're doing. So we, we got to calm that down. We Just support it, man. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to pay for it, don't pay for it. I'm pretty sure somebody's going to bootleg it. But don't pay for it. But I say, you know, let's try to support it, our community with this instead of, like, knocking it down and talking trash. And, when I, and by the way, before I forget... Um, I want to say shouts out to all the people that's been affected by this coronavirus. Um, all the people that lost their jobs. I was blessed to be one that, that didn't lose my job. But all the people that lost their jobs and they, they had to uh, you know apply for unemployment that's waiting on this, this stimulus check that they're going to take forever to give you because it's the government. Everybody know when the government giving you something, it takes forever. But when they want something from you, they taking it immediately. Don't don't worry about it. Sign, seal, deliver. It'll be taken before they even tell you that they're taking it. Um, but, you know, everybody needs to stay safe. Practice social distancing. All right? Make sure y'all washing them hands. Make sure everything good, you know? And just, you know, all I ask is you take it serious, you know? I, for one, I, I did not, you know, months ago, I probably thought it was a big joke. But as I see people dropping like flies around me, I'm blessed that I have not been affected with it. And, you know, I'm just telling people, keep it serious. Keep your head up. Make sure you're praying. And um, hopefully we get through this epidemic uh, relatively unscathed. People get their jobs back. The economy go back to where it was. And we we get to doing what we do, being America, uh, being the world's finest. All right. Um, Shouts out to the United States Marine Corps. You know what it is. I much for y'all boys, simplify, do or die. I hear y'all out there. Let's do it. Probably the last branch standing when it's all said and done. So shouts out, shouts out to them. Um, and like I said, I want to thank everybody for, you know, entertaining what I'm talking about right now. Uh, you know, I just want to get up on here, 
you know, me and my boys, Cody Ward, Jay Wise, we only drop a show two times a week. So I try to get I try to get on here and, you know, talk my stuff, drop a little Hennessy in the streets for y'all right quick. Just see what y'all think and just to create conversation. And I hope this creates conversation because that's exactly what I want to do. Um, like I say, I'm not one of these guys that's just in it for the money. I'm in, I'm in it for the, the, the entertainment. I'm in it for the, the conversation. I'm in for the debates, the verb, the back and forth. Within reason, respectful. Like, I would respect your opinion. I have asked you for you to respect mine. But, you know, that's what I'm in it for. So, you know what I mean? Holla at your boy. And, uh, you know, stay safe. Stay safe. And before I get up out of here, before I wrap this up, I just want to say, you know, like I said, shouts out to Dante Boxing Nation. He done held your boy down for a while. I appreciate that. Shouts out to DNA Tooth. He he been holding your boy down. You know, both of them been out here promoting, helping your boy out, you know, helping me get up there in them ranks. And then shouts out to all, to all of you, the subscribers that um got me the way I'm at now. And I'm still building. I'm getting better every day. I'm learning more and more every day. So thanks for your help, your love, and your support. And with that said, remember, make tomorrow better than today and make today better than yesterday. And you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to holler at you, baby. Yeah. Y'all have a good one, man. Stay safe.